I'm here with the one and only Diego Lopez, one of the most active fighters at the moment. And you were a backup fighter here at UFC 308. How was the weight cut process knowing that maybe, maybe you, you wouldn't fight? <laughs> yeah, it's, it's, it's crazy now, but uh, my weight cut is a little bit hard, but, but I, I'm in the, in the schedule at 145, you know, it's the championship weight. Uh, yeah, I mean, stay waiting for, for everything, you know, but now in this moment, to have said no did my, my, my work now, but I stay ready for the next. I feel like you could make any weight at this point on any notice. You obviously <laughs> fought a new opponent on four hours notice back in Vegas and then uh, at the, sorry, um, prior to that, and then in Vegas at the Sphere, you had a fantastic win over Brian Ortega. How big a win was that for you, taking out a top ranked opponent in Brian Ortega? Yeah, I think it's a big win for me, you know. So Brian Ortega is the two, two times the title contender. Uh, yes. I, I needed this one biggest the win in my in my career, but now I have I have one big win today, uh, for for Brian Ortega. Uh, I think the next step is the the big things, no? Yeah. And obviously, backup fighter normally wins your means you'll get the next title shot. There's Alexander Volkanovski as well waiting in the wings. Do you think you get to go next, or maybe Volk gets that opportunity? What do you think? Uh, yeah, UFC say evoke the next now, but uh, yeah, I'm stay wary. I'm stay wary. UFC say me, oh, Diego, I need you for for the next title contender. I'm wary, but uh, UFC need it. one more fight. I think uh, one more fight for in Australia, maybe Volca for me is good. So you'll take one more fight if you have to. Yeah, UFC say one more fight. Okay, one more fight, no problem. What opponent might that be? Any yeah. opponent in, <laughs> in mind for Any that? Opponent. <laughs> <laughs> and of course, got to get your prediction for tonight, Ilya Taporia. Uh, will he remain undefeated or what do you think will happen? <laughs> it's a tough fight now, it's the Max Lalor experience, uh, but Ilya is the young guy, so hungry too. I think it's the little bit it's the, for Max, but uh, Ilya is so, so poor, you know. Uh, but tonight, uh, I think it's the, the fans is one. <laughs> how do you match up against both, both of them? Because at this point, we don't know who the winner will be, but how do you match up against both of them? Because we don't know who it might be your face next. Um, maybe I think Ilya, Ilya is a good fight for me. It's the new style is I think is the it's close for my style. Is the so so power so so strong. You know, is the good boxing. I think it's it's very fight for me. How much have you evolved as a fighter? Because you've been very active. You're an exciting fighter as well. We love to watch you fight. But what do you think has been your biggest improvement in the last few years of which you've had this fantastic rise? <laughs> Ah, uh, vou falar português porque eu me perdi um pouco. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Biggest improvement. <laughs> yeah, foi uma evolução muito boa, né? Eu acho que muitas coisas têm acontecido, é, pelo mesmo de estar ativo por muito tempo, é, tem me ajudado a evoluir bastante, né? Ter lutas muito seguida é o que eu gosto bastante, é o que sempre me ajuda a pousar até evolucionando. It was a really good evolution, you know. Uh, I think fighting all the time and mm -hmm. constantly being in the octagon is is what really helped me improve uh, in these last few years, but it was a big evolution. Right, well, we can't wait to see what's next for you. Obrigada. Obrigada. <laughs>